Hey guys, it's JP here again. I wanted to give you a real review about the Invicta mouse pad. And I just wanted to clarify something. I don't know if I'd actually buy this mouse pad not having used it before, but I mentioned to it in passing to my wife uh, about a month or so before Christmas actually happened. And on Christmas day, I got a wonderful surprise of when she gave it to me. And you know, I'm really glad that she did. It's an amazing mouse pad. And here's, here's a more in-depth review of the mouse pad and why I like it so much. I wanted to show off the bottom of the mouse pad or the inside of the bottom of the mouse pad. They did a really good job milling this part out. You can see on the inside of it, just kind of where it gets a little bit high, that there's not a sharp edge. It's the perfect depth so that when the mouse mat sits inside of it, it's not taller than the aluminum surface and it's not lower than the aluminum surface so when you re rest your palm on it you don't feel the difference between the mouse mat and the aluminum of the of the mouse pad so it's just one even surface it feels really great they did a great job with it and the bottom of it has the perfect rubber on it it's grippy enough to where your mouse pad doesn't slide all over the place with the slightest touch and when you're using it, it doesn't feel like it's gonna slide at all. It feels really firm, really solid, does not slide. But if you do need to move it, it's not so sticky that you can't move it really quick. It's really easy to use. The surface of it is perfect. It's, it gives it enough texture to the mouse pad so it feels like you're on something. But on that same note, it's not so rough and textured that your mouse has a hard time and is getting ground down when you're moving your mouse across to it, across it. On the speed side, it's a little bit smoother and your mouse slides easier on it, but it's still not a slippery surface. It's still got a little bit of grip. And then on the textured side or the control side, it's got enough grip to where your mouse isn't going to go fl uh, moving freely on it, but at the same time, it gives you a lot of control over it. And it's really easy to use. It leads to a great experience when you're gaming and when you're browsing the web or just anything that you're doing on your computer. It's really accurate and it really helps. Now with the size of it, it's about a 13 inch wide and I'm not exactly sure how tall it is, about 10 inches, but it's the perfect size. It's not wide enough to where it's taking up my whole desk, but I have plenty of space to do what I want on it and it's not tall enough I mean, it is tall enough to where I can do any mouse movement I want on it for browsing on pages or selecting stuff, but I never run out of surface. When I got this mouse pad, I was a little worried that it'd be a little too tall and would be uncomfortable to use, but it's not tall enough to where I even notice it or feel it. It was just a perception thing when I first got it. I've used other hard surface mouse pads like the Razer Exact Mat, and I can't remember what their other plastic hard mat is, but it's far better than either either of those options and it's out of this world compared to any soft mat. If you can, I highly recommend you picking one of these up and using it for your own purposes. Now if you like this video, please go ahead and give it a like and if you want to see more of these, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and thank you so much for watching.